you're going to do this now? Yes. Is that what? <laughs> oh, no, what kind of thing? All right, all right, all right. We'll do it. Get mad, Marina. I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's just... Can we do it out yeah. here? Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah? Is this look like, all right? you have to yeah, okay, Star right. Trek, man. <laughs> Underground, the best video clips yeah, his yes, voice. Yeah. His voice was the exact match to how it was on the phone. It's like what? Well, th thank you for clarifying that, Gail. We thought you were talking to a fake Brent Spiner, <laughs> but but now that we know that this is the exact match, there's no way that his voice could have changed with aging. That would be mm -hmm. psycho. It's got to be a Jesuit clone. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Ready? Okay. First question. He has the stink of Gale on oh, him. Oh, here we that. go. Here we go. Here's this guy. Underneath that robe, he's got the stink of Gale. Hey, everybody. I fuck, fuck Skype. I fucking hate it. It doesn't work. It's broken. Nothing works. Everything's bad. It works for us all the time. I don't, I don't know what's going on with your Skype, man. Our Skype works. Yeah, how yeah, bad do you think... Hard. I'm sitting here, you know, I, I was like, I was talking to my friends earlier, like, Hey man, the drunken presents say I should come on more. That's a pretty good opportunity, but I don't know. I'm a little scared. I'm a little nervous. But they're all like, "Do it, you faggot! Get on there and, and do things." And I'm like, "Okay, you, you did it. You talked me into it. You pepped me up. It was a good pep talk." And now I'm ready to go on a, a, a live stream, a podcast, and be cool and be nice and be a, a, a be a good old boy with the other good old boys. I sit down. I get everything ready. First, my fucking microphone doesn't work. Then my whole fucking Skype shuts off, and I can't get back into it. Now I'm typing my password. At won't accept my password anymore. Now my whole computer I am. It's time to kill myself. It's time to die. <laughs> Are you not? Afraid? Not now. We just got your fucking Skype window working. If you kill yourself now, yeah, all that gonna, time is wasted. It's gonna throw off the entire layout right, guys, situation. Right, guys, that might make for good ratings if someone on the show uh, killed themselves while they're on the show. Nah, we well, probably get demonetized for sure. Was, was have a good time. I wanna, I wanna talk about Brent Spiner. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna talk about Donald Trump. I wanna fucking do all the jokes and all the good times. I was gonna say, I wanna, I wanna see Donald Trump. In the giant Gonzalez suit with the blonde hair over where his <laughs> dick should be. That's my president. I'd vote for that guy. That's the only way I'd vote for anybody. If well, Trump were has a fucking giant Gonzalez suit, I'd vote for Hillary in a giant Gonzalez suit. I, Trump, the whole fucking parliament should be made up of giant Gonzaleses. Trump <laughs> has been to more WrestleManias than giant Gonzalez, though. So, <laughs> and he's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, and he's in the Hall of Fame. Exactly. Well, well, hello, and Trump Jess. never lost to The Undertaker, so. Damn. Hello, Jess. How are you, buddy? Are you okay, buddy? I'm doing just swell now that I'm now that I'm here. How how you doing, Pit Monk? My my best friend. We're best friends now. That's right. <laughs> my best friend in this whole podcast, but also everyone else is too. Well, that doesn't make sense. No, yeah, Evan's our friend forever, dude. Oh shit. There That's might be right. some competition for who's uh, the the our biggest friend. I'm the biggest friend. Oh, you mean literally? Because I'm a big fat boy. Pimp Monk well, said I'm himself, pretty, I'm "I have two, there. I have two hundred to three hundred pounds on Pimp Monk." So his his <laughs> he's my second in command as far as obesity goes. I was angry a little bit. I said, "I'm sorry." What the fuck? I don't care about your apologies, Pimp Monk. I want you to show me you're sorry. I want you to show me in the form of kratom-filled blowjobs. I just took a kratom. I want you to cough a cloud of kratom on my dick, puss boy. On your dick, puss? Okay, I'll do that for you. Don't, don't do it. I'm kidding. Uh, no, it's I'll... done now. It's gotta be. It's gotta happen now. <laughs> you just want on my jock. Do Nasty I... man. Wait, wait, I thought we were gonna talk about my character. Did you spend the night here? No, no, I. No, didn't I'm not in the there banging Gail Cord did. Schuler. I, I, did. I heard this. I heard this and I didn't believe it. You. You live in your trailer. No, don't I you? don't live in my tra trailer. Are they shooting don't us? Come are they filming us now? No, no they, don't, they don't want this. They're going to cut because this I out. No, listen. Tell me. You live in your trailer, don't you? I don't. Brent, your dressing gown, you're wiping sleep out of your eyes. All, you right, all right, all right. I live in the trailer. So what? Big deal. He doesn't live How in the trailer. <laughs> but I guess they do now if they're shooting this. Brent, we are in the third year of a hit TV show. You could rent an apartment. Look. This I want to. I just want to say, Pimp Monk has so much like negative space like above his head, and like the, oh. like his chin from like the bottom of his camera window. There's like a sliver of space, so it's almost yeah. impossible. It's because he was leaning forward. You can't help it. You can't move. Your oh, he made it worse. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Are you fucking, you fucking with us? I borrowed a headset to be on here, and the cord's too fucking short. Well, you can still no. chill. You just tilt the camera up. And Ben spent seven minutes trying to fit your chin oh, in. <laughs> Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. No, but yeah. <laughs> so what's up with this? I think this is some kayfabe we're seeing here with with old Brett Spiner. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Brent Spiner really lives in his trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was in Brent Spiner's trailer. I well, I think I think he was obviously in there fucking Gail Cordschuler and Marina Sirtis walked up on him mid-stroke and he's just a agreeing to say he lives in his trailer because he doesn't want her to know it. he's got the fucking space goddess Gail Cord on all fours showing her Hefner joint. She's showing her Hugh Hefner spots. The privacy, man. He's, he's protecting Gail Cordschuler's innocence is what he's doing here right now. The future uh, playmate of the century, man. All right, so we'll see what Gail says. He didn't want to make public appearances. He hated going to conventions, Star Trek conventions. Yeah, and he, he wanted to be very you. private. And as you can see, he's a very private person. He actually lied about living in the trailer because he didn't want the world to know he was living <laughs> in the trailer. <laughs> she believes he it. Didn't, he didn't lie. He was just... He, he, they were acting. She believes that this was a legitimate scenario where she walked in on him and he just happened to be sleeping in the trailer. She fucking believes it, Ben. She doesn't know what a, a joke is for for a Hollywood B reel for Access TV's fucking doing doing a, a shitty fucking smarm joke. She doesn't know the difference between a fucking joke and reality. And we're supposed to let this woman think she's the goddess of the earth and that Hugh Hefner talked her into getting her fucking wrinkly old sag tits naked. This is fucked up! He's a very well, down-to-earth humble guy. Why would the goddess of the earth know those things? She knows about plants and flowers and stuff. I believe her. Oh. Yeah, we love you, Gail. If you're watching, we love you. You guys Go are all enablers. Billy. You're all enablers. I, this woman is sick. I, I said, I really I admire you, Brent, because Did I can you give tell Gail a gun, Billy? that you're not an actor for- Would I give Gail a gun? Absolutely. Yeah, with one bullet in in the the chamber, and I would I would tell her tell her that the gun was actually a telephone, and she's just <laughs> she's a hold it up to her ear, and and wait for that some bitch to ring, and when she's ready to answer, just pull that fucking answer button on the, on the handle of that gun. For the fame or the money, and that you're just doing this because this is a passion with you, and you're just a great artist. And I said I really admire you for this, and I admire you for being true to your vision and having the guts to pursue a passion because i was actually a very i've always been very artistic and creative and at that time i was subduing my artistic creative side and brent was part of my journey to help me find myself so i wrote him and said i really admire you for this brent i he was getting my letters at, at the time that but marina interviewed him I'm not saying that I, he was thinking about me at this time, but he might have been. I was getting a phone call once a month from a mystery caller who would not identify themselves. I think exactly. it was him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, it was a pervert that hit the fucking jackpot, <laughs> wanted, wanted to have dirty phone calls with somebody, and it just so turned out that they believed you were the person on TV that you had a crush on, or that they had a crush on. He was a slut. Yep. Is, is that um, you, Brent? <laughs> yeah, it's Brent. Uh, he's just cunt. a down-to-earth person. He doesn't care about fame or any of that stuff. And that's what I fell in love with. I said, I admire you for this. I said, I'm a Christian. And I've been taught that Hollywood is the cesspool. And you apparently can see that there, that fame isn't where it's at. I mean, Brent Spiner was never really that famous. You know, he was a mainstream actor, but he was never like A-list uh, actor or anything like that. He had a few... Did he movie do, roles? Did he do stuff non-data that was, was successful? He was on Gargoyles. That's pretty A-list. That was successful. Oh yeah, <laughs> he did Independence Day. Remember that one, Billy? Yeah, but that was, Independence was a minor. Day? Yeah, that's a he was minor a fucking role. Scientist? Or yeah, something? very small yeah. role. Ah, he, yeah. made, he made a movie with uh, Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau, where he was the main antagonist in it. Was it uh, Grumpy Old Men? No, it no. was Out to Sea. Grumpiest Old Men. Out to Sea. Well, no, Holy no, it was shit. out to sea. But yeah, oh. basically, basically, they all were the odd couple because those guys were the odd couple, you know, the original odd couple from the film. Yeah. So they just kept making movies together and basically playing the same characters, only as crotchety old men when they got older. Oh, man. Good movies, too. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, they filmed those grumpy old men movies in Minnesota, man.
Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, sure, you betcha, man. I said, I, I want to let you know I am behind you and I think you have a perfect right to want to remain private as a celebrity. This, the fans cannot demand that you go public. And I think Wait, that's part of the reason he fell in love with me. This is so me. crazy. Uh, that's saying why, she, like, that she sent him like hundreds of letters all saying you have a right to be private. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I believe different. I believe he did get a restraining order against her. She's Lord too. Gale. No, the Jesuit clone got a restraining order against her. Oh yeah, actual Brent. I I went to, to a, her. I went to a Star Trek convention and took a picture of Brent Spiner eating a sandwich, and uh, tweeted it at Gale. And Gale was like, "That's a clone. <laughs> clone. Definitely a clone. I'm not attracted to that old man. Got to be a clone." And then and then uh, Jeff Holiday asked Brent Spiner on Twitter, was like, "Hey." You know, if I meet you, will you sign my Gale book? And he's like, no way. And he was like, basically <laughs> said, she's a crazy woman. You guys shouldn't feed he into this. He said, she's sick. She is. Oh, wait, what's her story? Is this per is this lady, like, famous for being, like, a crazy stalker? Infamous. Thing? She's, she's been on Tosh.0 oh or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. And she's been on uh, DP once. Mm -hmm. She's so. more famous she has than me. I might become her stalker. You should. <laughs> you do look like well, you might be a little bit of a... this is actually her clone. You look but... like you might be Brent Spiner and Riker's fucking mm -hmm. grandson or something. A... You might be able to somebody pull that off. The, somebody heard in the chat room said he was a uh, razor fist voice with Egghead's face. <laughs> I don't think he looks like Egghead. I don't either at all. Not at I all. hope Egghead is an attractive man. It doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> you look nothing name. like Egghead. like an insult. Egghead's <laughs> sexy, man. Yeah, I'm a I'm a Dragon Ball Z fusion of of Riker and Data. I will yeah. say this though: after I heard you know that rap song we watched that night, and then I seen you, I was like, "This isn't the guy that did that." <laughs> the P style. Yeah, yeah. Pimp Monk thought you were actually a animated bunny. I did. I thought you. You were said animated. you said a bunch of times in P style that that you're Hispanic or something, didn't you? Yeah, that was a lie. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so, because I was like, I expected you to be some Hispanic guy because of that, and then when you came out, I'm like, this is a totally white guy. He also said in the other one that he was an Italian pedophile. Did he? Too, so. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> just <laughs> just yeah, a master. Man. He's a I master of disguise. Man, man. Italian pedophile? Is that where the Pizzagate came from, man? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think it had anything to do with Pizzagate. It was just a happy fucking accident. Lori McBride was like, claimed to be his publicist. The last thing in the earth he cared about at this time was his publicity. He didn't care about that stuff. He cared about and you. And I forgot Gale. to mention, but <laughs> notice the high tenor voice. Well, mm. the way he sounded in this Marina interview, the voice was an exact match to the man who was calling me on my phone and making love to me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> was he making love to her on the phone or do they actually what she's saying right? so she's, she's not saying that it wasn't and, it and wasn't... now they just have brain to brain oh man what a fucking delight that's what she existence. calls it brain to brain they have sex brain to brain she calls brain, brain to brain sex with brent spiner what other people call fantasizing Some... about a celebrity yeah. somehow she gets to have a uh, brain to brain with people somehow that's possible well hugh hefner contacted her from the dead to make her the playmate of the century well so she's she's capable of many great things well here's the thing somehow she's capable of brain to brain but when she wants to talk to jesus it has to be through skype well, you, that makes sense so she because skype she, skype doesn't work she's so. mastered like telekinetic orgasms but when it comes to talking to jesus christ it must be through Skype. She doesn't want Jesus <laughs> to see inside of her sick, dirty mind. So she won't go brain to brain with Jesus because she's worried she won't get left, let into heaven. The best video clips around. TV underground has the best video clips in town. TV underground has the best video clips around.